Hello and welcome to SDSC Specialist Cars. This is our video review of our 2010 Mini Cooper S convertible. She's the uh, turbocharged model. It just come into us, been really well looked after, finished in metallic blue as you can see. I'm going to have a look around the car, have a look at the general condition, but like I say, she really is really, really nice. Front wing here, no marks or anything on there. And the front wheel, really clean, look at that, really nice. Coming along the uh, driver's side, no marks or scratches, wing mirrors, really nice, no scuffs. There's a mark there, but it's actually a fly. Um, rear quarter, absolutely lovely as you can see. Lovely colour this car, absolutely lovely. Rear wheel there, spot on. Coming around the back of the car. Really nice, no scratches or marks or anything on here. Got the twin exhaust pipes. The hood also, it's in lovely condition, the hood. Really nice, oh the petrol cap's not shut properly there. Um, rear wheel there, absolutely spot on. Coming along the passenger side, again, no marks or blemishes along here. Really is lovely. One tiny little mark just on the end of the, oh actually that'll polish. Yeah, it's just a polish mark that'll come out. Look at the shine on that, look at the bonnet, fantastic with the stripes on there. And the front wheel, absolutely perfect. Around the front of the car, there's no stone chips or marks or scratches or anything on here. She's really lovely, headlights are nice and clear. You've got the, obviously the extra intake for the uh, S model. Now inside she's got the full well, they call it half leather, it's more like quarter leather, because <laughs> it's basically leather on the sides of the seat and then cloth in the middle. Um, but uh, I'm a bit partial to cloth seats, I used to always like leather, but uh, um, cloth tends to um, always uh, uh, absorb you more and you sort of mould to you, it's much more comfortable than leather. Especially, uh, obviously, leather's very hot in the summer and uh, freezing cold in the winter. Um, anyway, stop waffling. Cruise control on the steering wheel here. We've got... Um, uh, telephone control module there, we've got a uh, CD player, climate control, obviously electric uh, roof and everything, six speed manual gearbox, sport mode down there uh, which tightens up the throttle response and the steering and everything, obviously the extra trip up here, and if I just press the, uh, put the key in, press this one, which one is it? There we are. 67,745 miles. So nice uh, mileage as well. I'll take the key out. But the carpets and everything are all lovely as you see. Look at the door shuts. Really nice. In the back of the car. Doesn't look like it's actually been sat in the back. The seats look uh, factory fresh. Driver's door card, all oh, really lovely. Look at that, no marks or anything on there, really clean. Uh, we'll come around, have a look in the uh, passenger side. Again, in the rear, spotless. And passenger seat. It's really funny, the seats always look like they've got marks on them, but uh, they haven't when you don't, haven't got the camera on them. I bet it's the camera, I don't know. The dashboard. We'll open the bonnet while we're here. And these actually have a Peugeot engine in them, these minis. That's the uh, Peugeot 1.6 turbo engine. That's a good engine. The um, previous Mini Cooper S's used to have uh, a Chrysler engine that was built in Mexico. It was a supercharged engine, that was another very good engine, but the fuel consumption was absolutely rubbish. Here we are, under the business end of the car, turbocharger mounted slap bang in the front of the engine. But again, under here, really lovely. Got the mini logo on the uh, engine there. Like I say, been well looked after this car, really has. And, uh, she drives lovely. Um, should you have any more questions, please give me a call. My name is Stuart, and our website is www.sdsc.co.uk. Many thanks for watching.